Do you wanna crack the code to the cheapest social media marketing advertisement platform on the planet? Stick with me to the very end of this video and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do just that. What's going on fam, Eric Ellis here, back at it again with another fire ass video. And in this video, we're going to be covering Snapchat ads. Now guys, Snapchat is extremely underpriced and it is a gold mine if you can crack the code to be able to leverage this to promote your products online. So without further ado, we're gonna go to step behind the laptop. If you guys have not already applied for my mentorship for affiliate marketing, this is going to be the first link in the description or somewhere down below. But let's step behind the laptop and let's get into the good stuff. All right guys, so in this video, we're gonna be covering how to create a Snapchat ad for your affiliate marketing products. And the reason why Snapchat is extremely lucrative right now is because they are underpriced. So other than Facebook, YouTube, and all those other platforms, because Snapchat ad is struggling as a business, they have their ads, uh, um, under price right now, which is basically better for the advertiser, right? So let's dig in. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go to forbusiness.snapchat.com. And once you go here, it's basically gonna go ahead and have this call to action. Um, big yellow button, say create ad, and add a specific option. So basically it's gonna go ahead and tell you to sign up for Snapchat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a dummy account. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Eric Ellis, Username, we're gonna go ahead and put testing one, two, three, four. So we're gonna put testing one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna put four, three, two, one. All right. All right, so we're just gonna put testing, right? And then the password. And then we're gonna put an email. We're gonna put bims, bims at gmail.com. So you're gonna put in your information, right? And then the next step is we're gonna go ahead and put a month, 22nd, 1994. Then we're gonna go ahead and press sign up and accept. Now, once you create your Snapchat business account, the next step is picking which type of ad you want to do. But first is actually going to go ahead and ask you for your business credentials. So I'm going to put um, Eric's business and then your name, email, country, time zone, currency, continue. And you're going to have four different types of ads. You're gonna have a Snapchat ad, story ad, collection ad, and a uh, and a, um, a filter ad, right? So basically, the, t the two that we're gonna focus on is a story ad and a Snapchat ad. This is basically what you're gonna find on, on um, the Discover feed, right? So whenever you go to the Discover feed, your, your thumbnail is basically gonna be displayed um, in front of your target audience. So your target audience is going to be able to click on that sponsor piece of content, and depending on whether they decide to take action or not, they're gonna swipe up. Now, the Snapchat ad, which is my favorite, is basically interruption marketing. What you're doing is, is instead of somebody clicking your display ad with the Snapchat, with the Snap ad, what's gonna happen is it's literally gonna be a, a snap, an in-stream snap, just like somebody who's just regularly watching Snapchat, you're literally gonna kind of interrupt them with your ad, but if it's congruent with what they're looking for and if whatever you're offering can solve the problem that they're trying to solve, then at that point, you're gonna go ahead and actually um, uh, basically be able to kind of interrupt them and then leverage that attention and get them to your, your affiliate offers, right? Now, one thing that I wanna show you guys is like it wasn't a live real live example of us actually uh creating a product so i went to clickbank.com um just to show you guys uh, an example of an offer i don't endorse this whatsoever but here's just an example so the yoga burn this is what it actually looks like if i was to actually promote this product right here right um 
I'm gonna go ahead and instead of, cause you're not, guys, any advertisement platform is not gonna go ahead and allow you to direct link. And what that means is basically put your affiliate link directly into the advertising platform. They don't like that. So what I'll recommend is putting a landing page right between your ad landing page and then your actual um, your actual affiliate offer. So what I use is um, a landing page software called ClickFunnels. Um, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, there's gonna be a resources section in the description where you guys can actually get access to a free trial. But here's an example of where we're actually gonna be sending the Snapchat ad to. So free report reveals, weird yoga trick that speeds up metabolism and forces your body to lose annoying extra body fat. So that's our lead magnet, it's a free report. So instead of running ads to the actual offer, we're gonna be running ads to the free report. Now, let's go back into the actual advertisement platform. So name your ad, I'm gonna put free report, I'm gonna put free weight loss report. Now guys, this goes for any niche, it doesn't matter what niche, but let's go for a brand name. So brand name, I'm gonna put Healthy Unicorn. It's not my actual brand name, but it's kind of similar. So headlines, or what is the headline? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go ahead and actually swipe the headline off of my, my landing page. I don't know if that's gonna be too long. We're gonna go ahead and see in a second. So what is the headline? So Weird Trick speeds up um, sheds extra fat. Now guys, this video, this video is not a video on compliance. Now am I guaranteeing you that this ad is compliant? Absolutely not. You have to do your own research, figure out if it's compliant, make sure that you abide by their rules, so on and so forth, what you can and cannot do. And then what you'll be able to do is actually um, follow the guidelines, get your ads approved, and start marketing to your target audience, right? Now, what we're gonna do is you can do Snap Pixel. Snap Pixel is kind of like Facebook Pixel. It's basically tracking data for you. Um, and then shareable. You definitely want it to be shareable because let's just say um, somebody sees your ad and they wanna share it with their friend. That's gonna go ahead and give you free impressions. Um, and also, uh, basically you have three different types of things. You can go and upload, create, or browse. I'm literally gonna go ahead, instead of creating it in Snapchat, they actually have some pretty cool features here where you guys can actually create your ads. I'm gonna go ahead and give you two additional methods that you guys can use. Now we're not gonna go ahead and actually create our ads inside Snapchat, but the fastest method, right, is simply going ahead and hiring somebody else to do it. So if you go on Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R dot com, you can look here and they have, look, boom, boom, boom. People literally making Snapchat ads for as low as $5, right? $25, $5, $5. So another one is, I looked at the Snapchat dimensions, it's 1080 by 1920. So I'm gonna go to Canva, canva.com. I'm gonna go ahead and create a design, right? Create a design, and it's gonna be 1080 by 1920. So custom dimensions, 1080 by 1920. But guys, this is gonna be a perfect ad. Absolutely not, but I'm just showing you how fast you guys can actually create an ad. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here, or scroll down. I'm gonna go to uploads, and then I'm actually gonna go ahead and upload an image that I got earlier. We're gonna go to desktop, and we're gonna use this weight loss, this weight loss image. Now guys, again, I'm not telling that this is compliant, right? You, you guys have to figure that out yourself, but here's an example. Then we're gonna go ahead and make the background, and then I'm gonna have, we'll just use that color right there, right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add text, we're gonna add text, I'm literally just gonna go ahead and copy and paste the, the headline. So we're gonna make this a little bit thicker. We're gonna use a better font, heavy. And then let's see what 72 looks like. So I'm gonna put speeds up metabolism and forces your body to lose extra body fat. Weird yoga trick. Now guys, again, I'm not telling you that this is compliant, but I'm just showing you guys the idea of how this process works. 
you guys do what you need to do to make sure your stuff is compliant. Now then what I would do next is I'll go ahead is I'll go ahead and create another text. And then I'm gonna put swipe up. And then I'm gonna use the same. Now guys, this is the best ad, absolutely not. What I would recommend, obviously, is getting somebody else to do it for you. So let's just say 80, swipe up. And then you could even get as creative as if it has any. All right, so for time's sake, I'm not gonna do this, but if I was, what I would do is I will go ahead and put a an arrow. Oh, there we go. So, boom, swipe up, call to action. Now guys, this is an ugly ad, but believe it or not, it might work. If somebody actually reads it, they resonate with it, they swipe up, boom. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and actually um, basically send them to your content, right? So here's an example of my ad that I made. Now another option guys is making it within Snapchat. Another option is going to Fiverr and actually getting somebody to create it for you. But the next step would be basically, I'm gonna go ahead and upload my image. Again guys, I'm not saying that this is gonna go ahead and be compliant, but you don't know until you try, right? So here's my ad that I literally just made. We're gonna go ahead and upload it. So this is what it looks like. So this is what people are gonna go ahead and come across. And then I'm gonna be linking to my desired uh, website. And then who will see your ad? Um, so this is where the actual uh, targeting comes into play. Now, targeting, um, if I'm, let's just say for example, you just need to know whoever your target audience is. So I'm personally gonna be doing Um, and by the way, Snapchat is a little bit younger demographic when it comes to advertising. So let's just say I would target 25 or not even, I'm just going to do this one. I'm literally just going to do 30 to 35 plus. And I'm going to do females, uh, age restrictions required. It's fine. Um, now, one thing to understand is that the actual budget when it comes to Facebook ads, the minimum that you have to spend is $50 per day. So if you do the math, that's $1,500 per month. So if you can't consistently advertise at $1,500 per month, this isn't for you. This is something that you'll eventually be able to upgrade to for, from something like a Facebook ad or something like that. But the cool thing is, the good thing about $50 per day is that this weeds out a lot of the people who don't know what they're doing and this weeds out a lot of people who don't have money to where you have much less competition and they're charging you less for impressions, for clicks and all that extra stuff. So this is definitely a, a freaking gold mine that you can figure it out. Now starts, um, you can have a date, we can have today and then runs indefinitely or you can go ahead and put a set time. Video views, we're just gonna put impression because it's not a video. Um, the bid is basically the we're gonna put auto bid that's how much you're actually bidding uh, per click per swipe per impression um business address you're just gonna go ahead and put in your address and then you're gonna go ahead and put in your actual payment method but before we do that right we want to go ahead and actually show more and this is where it gets pretty cool right so we can actually say whether we want to do android or ios meaning iphone or androids or we can do so let's say i want to only want to do people with um uh, iphone whatever um, device makes, we can go ahead and do the actual type of uh, device makes. What I would do is actually do Wi-Fi so that way people would actually watch my video, they're sitting down. And then um, so, uh, carrier, that's really not important. Now, this is where the interest-based targeting comes in. So we're gonna do, we're gonna see lifestyle. I wanna see, so beauty, mavens, there's beauty. I wanna see if there's like a fitness. So fitness enthusiasts, right? Fitness enthusiasts or foodies. So an example, right, if I'm trying to find people who are looking to lose weight, I would go ahead and type in fitness enthusiasts. So we have one category. Now guys, you guys can go bananas with categories. What I would highly recommend is literally just go through all these categories and see what resonates with, with the 
the type of ad you're running. So there's gonna be uh, lifestyle shoppers, viewers, and visitors as the broad categories. And then once you click the drop down, it's gonna, you're gonna be able to narrow down your audience. Now that's our audience. Obviously what we do is test different ads, see where we're getting our cost per clicks, our cost, or our CPMs, which is basically a thousand people being displayed in, in front of those people, right? And the, it, the, the ultimate goal, guys, is what? To see how much we're getting purchases for, right? Conversions. Yeah, you could be getting cheap leads, yeah, you could be getting cheap clicks, but the important thing is how much am I acquiring a customer for it? So with that being said, if let's just say every customer is worth to me about $70, and I'm able to get them for, let's just say, $20 with Snapchat ads because it's so low, then at that point, what I'm gonna be able to do is every time I spend $20, I'm gonna be getting 70% uh, ROI, and then once I start scaling, I start uh, spending forty dollars. I'm going to get one hundred and forty uh, one hundred and forty dollars uh, in in revenue, so on and so forth. And then you're going to start scaling up your business, right? So the most important thing, guys, is consistency. If you don't have fifty dollars today, fifty dollars per day to be able to invest, stay away from it. If you do have fifty dollars a day, then what you want to do is you want to start looking into Snapchat. It's cheap. It's lucrative. It's something that um, anybody can use. It's pretty simple. Um, it isn't as targeted as Facebook. It's pretty broad, but you have a lot less competition and it's a lot cheaper to advertise on. If you can figure it out, this is a freaking gold mine. So that's how you create a Snapchat ad for your affiliate marketing business from start to finish.